Then we go to the stratosphere. Okay. Something interesting happens in the stratosphere. Go ahead. That's where a molecule of oxygen has three atoms instead of the normal two. The O3 molecule, okay. turns out, sees ultraviolet light and it absorbs it, takes it out of action. Gotcha. But where does the energy go? Oh, that's so cool though. It's very cool. Please. So the, the UV molecule is completely gone. The persistent absorption of ultraviolet light in the stratosphere causes the temperature to rise because the particles are now getting an injection of energy okay. that gets manifested as the kinetic energy of the particles themselves. And we measure the average kinetic energy as temperature. So, stratosphere, the temperature rises. Whoa! Here's an interesting fact. Because the stratosphere is warmer than the troposphere, because the stratosphere is heated by the UV-absorbing O3, O3 molecule, okay, right. what happens to heated gas? What that means is the boundary between the troposphere and the stratosphere is completely stable. There is no urge for minus 60 degree air to rise. rise. It's almost like a ceiling yes. that is created. It is a thermodynamic ceiling that's above our troposphere. And that's why our weather never trickles. Yeah, it, <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's a lid.